Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to show you something tonight that's a little, a bit unorthodox. It's removing background with Corel Draw and using bitmaps and tracing. And I've already done one. I wasn't a hundred percent. I took this young man out of this picture, and. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's a good start. It still probably needs some work. So I took another picture and I'm going to initially, if this is a huge picture, I took this picture. I'm going to make it only three inches with my ratio locked. I'm going to make it just three inches because the fact that my number lock is off or something. Corel does a much better job when it's small but it doesn't have to work so hard. And because of that, the resolution is outstanding. So now we're gonna set our nudge factor on four. We're gonna make a duplicate of this picture, control D and move it over. Somehow that's not, let me do it again. Nudge factor of four, the picture is only three. Control D, there we go. Now I'm gonna take this picture and I'm gonna bitmap it and I'm gonna resample and you'll see it's 1800 dot print so it's way bigger than it needs to be. But I'm gonna convert it to a bitmap and this, uh, the last picture I tried color, I'm gonna try grayscale and just see what happens. That's gonna work pretty good. Then I'm gonna trace bitmap, outline trace, clip art, take it back, I'm gonna go bit outline trace, high quality image. And it's already done it. Now we're gonna go up to object and we're gonna break this apart, ungroup it. And then I'm just gonna start deleting. So if you take your alt key and make you a rectangle, anything it touches, it will delete. So this will be a lot quicker. So taking the alt key and holding it down, you're grabbing a lot of the garbage. And we wanna get rid of all the garbage. And this is the only really photograph I've ever, well, the second one I've ever tried it on. And I'm really pleased how it worked. It's gonna take a little bit of after work, but in the long run, I'm gonna hold down the alt key and grab all that, trying not to get the young man. And we're almost there. We probably, I probably should have zoomed in and left that, but we can fix that. I want to get rid of this garbage that's in between his arm. Really, that's part of his arm, but that's going to fix. So now, I'm going to put a border around this thing. And it's partially good. I'm gonna take it down to look at it. It actually gave me his head cut off, which is fine. We can take the virtual segment delete key and maybe delete that part in the middle. Nope, can't yet. And we really shouldn't have to worry about that what it is, it's a, it's it's the light of the picture graph, photograph coming, picture graph, photograph coming in. I'm gonna just for right now take these and right click and make them a line, and that'll fix that. Now I'm not gonna worry about his arm right now. I'm gonna move it back up and then over. I'm gonna select all this. I'm gonna go to intersect, and I'm gonna move it over. That's a pretty good start. And the good thing about this, when you hit your shape tool, the picture is still there. The graphic is still there. So we can take this and just start deleting these nodes and make his helmet a little more smooth. And on the helmet, in this particular case, let's use, if you have 18 and above, you could use the smoothing tool and smooth out that helmet. And I'm gonna show you in just a second that the 
the underlying photograph is still there. See this, and this would be like if you tried to do it the old way with a mask. I'm gonna show you that the old picture is still there. The old picture is still there. Then you could go through here and tweak this. And on this particular case, this arm's gonna be a little bit of trouble, but not really. And just take your nodes and start deleting those high nodes. You don't need all those nodes. And until the, the kind of grayish area goes away and your sleeve is still there, that looks really good. Especially if you're just gonna engrave this, you're not gonna sublimate it. And I could, you know, use the smoothing tool again. And I really ought to move the smoothing tool. Not quite so big. The point one. The smaller it is, the the less it's going to do it. Now let's work on his arm. His arm is still there. I hope it is. See, it's still there. This is the light shadow. So we could start deleting these nodes and then just bring them back over here. And this does cause a little bit of a problem. But what you can do, let's try this. Let's try deleting these nodes. Yes, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to delete all these interior nodes. That's what's causing us the problem. The picture is still there. The underlying picture is still there. But this to me is the, I used to try to trace photographs with uh, photo paint and, and uh, everything. And let's just delete those nodes. And there we go. His arm is back. Now definitely you could use a smoothing tool here. Just click on it. And you wanna make sure you're got it all of his arm there with it. Let's get back the shape tool and move this out. To me, this is quick and easy. We need to fix his neck. But if you're not going to, well, we already did that, right? If you're if you're just going to grade this on uh, granite or wood, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, if you're sublimating this, that might be a different deal because you can see every color. You see, like right here, you can see a little bit of the dirt or the sand of the field. Just move that up. Move that back. Delete, you know, delete nodes. His hand is messed up, but I'm not going to get into that because we're going to, well, I'm going to do it real quick. Just delete the same nodes we did earlier. And then on that, I would definitely use the smoothing tool. For some reason, I'm having trouble getting it. I'm going to move this back to 0.25. And just move those corners out. I think it looks pretty nice. There's a little bit of spot right here we can get rid of. Some of this green from the grass, maybe. But that's what I like about this. It's like you've masked it off. But the picture is still there. And you'd want to play around, especially if it's on his body, to make his neck not look so bad. I'm going in a little bit more detail than I was planning on. But see, just like right there, the green of the grass past his helmet. And then get back to the smoothing tool. Smooth that out. Same thing on this neck. I think that looks incredible. 
there's some stuff in the middle we should have taken out of, but that's I'm not I've already made the video a lot longer than I had planned. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.